Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a makeup look on the makeup that I'm wearing right now, obviously. And it's something that I came up with earlier in the week. Um, I explained a little more in the actual video. But yeah, I really am kind of obsessed with it. It's getting pretty washed out because my lighting sucks. But just trust me. It looks good, and it's very kind of like grungy fall, that's what I see when I look at it, and so yeah, I decided to film it because nothing seems good enough to film right now, and so I decided to, you know, whatever I do have any inclination to film, I'm going to film it, even if I don't think anyone will watch it, but, you know, I have this whole list of video ideas, and then when I sit down to, like, want to film, I'm like, no, all of these suck. I don't want to do it. Nobody's going to watch this. It, it, uh, yeah. So, I mean, I'm constantly bothering my family for, like, what video do you want to see? And then they give me suggestions, and I'm like, yay, awesome! And then, like, two weeks later, when I'm wanting to film it or whatever, I'm like, no. No, not good enough. So, I'm trying to work on that, but if you do have any videos that you want me to do, please tell me. I always want more ideas. I feel like I don't do a ton of makeup anymore, even though this is a makeup channel, and I know that I do, but I just feel like my makeup is so basic and, like, boring that it can't even possibly compete with all the incredible makeup that is out on YouTube right now. And so I'm like, no, you shouldn't even try. You shouldn't even do it. But, I mean, I guess my channel is more for normal pe people. Um, anyway, who don't wear, like, crazy graphic makeup. And so, I'll do my normal, weird, normal makeup. Um, and try to tell myself that it's okay. So, um... I think that that is it. Like I already said, let me know what other videos you want me to do. Subscribe to my channel, that would be awesome. Like the video if you enjoy it. Thank you for watching this video, I hope that you enjoy it. And I will see you on the next one. Bye. Alrighty. So, I already have all my face makeup on because I'm breaking out a lot and I don't want that on the internet. So. We're just going to be doing the eyes today. Um, so, I probably said this in the intro, but just in case, I will say it here. Um, I kind of came up with this look earlier this week, and I'm sure I didn't create this. This is not a revolutionary look at all. But um, I was just kind of playing around with my eyeshadow and didn't want to do something super basic, so I only did something kind of basic. And I actually really like how it came out. And so I'm gonna do it on YouTube. So, I know that I use this palette in like literally every video. But it's kind of my favorite eyeshadow palette, so... Sorry. If I was filming, if I was like planning this look like as a YouTube look, I would probably use something different, but... I'm just gonna use the palette that I used when I did this look anyway, so... Um, this is the Morphe 35V palette. It's awesome. <laughs> I use it for way too many looks. But you can just do so fucking much with this, right? So, that is what we're going to be doing today. And I'll walk you through and all that sort of stuff. First up, I'm going to be going in with a crease color and to be honest I normally just used um like a bronzer for this but I'll try to stick to the palette because that would just be unnecessary um I'm gonna be going in with like this color I think um it's called Vixen it's just like a nice warm brown and on a big fluffy brush that is going to go in my crease and a little bit on the lid 
you watch my makeup tutorials, you know kind of how I apply eyeshadow by now, but you know. I also take this color on my lower lash line, just on the same brush, because it doesn't really... It's too much work for me to pick up another brush to apply stuff on my lower lash line, so... I just kind of throw it on there with this big brush. Alright, once that is on, I am going to go in with the stars of the show, and really the last eyeshadows that we're going to use. Um, which is going to be this color and this color. And this is called Wild Thing, and this is called Trist. Trist. I'm having a brain fart and can't remember how to pronounce that. Those two. They are, like, really pretty, like, cranberry colors. Very fall appropriate, you know. And... To be honest, I kind of put this, like, everywhere. I start it on my outer corner and, like, into the crease. Because I always just plan for it to be out there. And then, all of a sudden, it's all over my lid, too. So, so a couple things have happened since I've last filmed, at least. Um, I got my Invisalign off. Do you notice? Probably not. Um, and yeah, it's really weird. Really weird. I, <laughs> I'm still not getting used to not having to, like, brush my teeth after every time I eat and being able to snack and not, like, plan out. It's... It's really weird. And I'm discovering that I got more used to having Invisalign than I thought I had. Because, like, there have been a couple times when I've, like, finished eating and I've, like, started going to the bathroom to, like, brush my teeth right after. I'm like, what am I doing? I don't need to do this anymore. And I've also discovered that, um, because I got so used to brushing my teeth so much and having like that minty taste in my mouth and not like the taste of whatever food I was just eating <laughs> that um, I don't like the taste of or, like the feeling of having food in my mouth after I'm done eating it like I just it's hard to explain but like we, a few hours later I'm like why don't why do I not taste mint why is there whatever I just ate still in my mouth I'm like it's weird but overall, it's been awesome to have them off. I'm so happy that they're off. And I'm like 90% happy with my teeth. 80 to 90%. There's one tooth that I knew probably wouldn't make it all the way straight with the rest. But I kind of knew that going in because it was really bad. And so that's fine. Got a retainer for the rest of my life, which is super great. Um, uh, but yeah, it's been nice. I got it taken off, um, almost a week ago. So, when I'm filming this. And I was thinking of making a video about, like, my Invisalign experience. Like, reviewing it and, like, talking about, like, my experience through it, so... Maybe I'll do that. Maybe nobody will care. I don't know. If you want that, comment down below. I'll probably do it anyway. My dad just sent me a TikTok. <laughs> Next up, I'm going to go in with the black eyeshadow in the palette. And I'm going to apply that on my lash line on the bottom and a little bit on the top. And I'll try to stay in the frame for this. But it's really hard. You can definitely do, like, actual eyeliner with this. But, I mean, when I'm getting ready for work, like, if I'm, <laughs> it's either eyeshadow or eyeliner. Like, if I'm doing an eyeshadow look like this, I do not put on actual eyeliner. If I want to do eyeliner, I don't put any eyeshadow. It's just, it's one or the other. I can't do both. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm just gonna blend that black out. 
first time I did this look, I was very scared because it was looking very pink before this. And then once I put on the black and kind of like blended it all around, it it just like deepens it and makes it really nice and not as pink. I kind of think of this look as like you just got punched in the eye, but you, it, but it looks good, you know. That's that's how I feel with this, and if you know me, that is very much my style. So I love it. It's this is getting really washed out. It's actually a lot more vibrant. I don't know why my lighting hates me, but it does. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, next up, I'm going to highlight my inner corner. I'm going to be going in with this color here. It's called Swipe Right. Great. So that's just going on my inner corner. And I'll also highlight my brow bone with this, but I want to fill in my eyebrows first. So, I will go fill my eyebrows and I'll be right back. Alright, I actually have eyebrows now and I already highlighted under my brow bone. Everything's looking good and that is all the eyeshadow. It's actually pretty easy. A lot. <laughs> I'm kind of realizing that a lot of my eyeshadow looks is kind of just smacking color all over and hoping that it looks good. And most of the time it does. So that's why I keep doing it, you know. It ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm moving on to lashes. And I just feel like wearing fake lashes because I haven't in like two months. Um, when I did this look for work, I didn't because, again, it's like eyeshadow and eyeliner. I, if I'm putting on lashes, I'm not doing any other eye makeup. It's one, one big thing at a time. Can't do it all. And then I'm also going to put it on my lower lashes, but I literally cannot stay in frame for that. So I'm going to go do that. <laughs> oh, another fun thing that's happened is I got extensions put in my hair. Not um, like a full head, but just where um, my side shave and my undercut are growing out. Look at how long that is. Look how long my side shave is. That's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, once I get this lash on, I'll show you closer, but it's awesome. <laughs> it is so nice and so weird to have hair like here and on my neck. And it's so weird. Like I just, I've had them for over a week and I still just like, it's still so weird. I had my undercut for about two years and my side shift for about a year and a half. And so, this is so weird to not <laughs> have them. And like, yeah, even though like my undercuts themselves were like getting long, like my, on my neck, like my undercut is like to my shoulders now. But it's still like weird to have it like the length of the rest of my hair. But yeah, you'll be able to see best on these ones over here that have red. Like, see? Do little extensions. Put the ones with red in it in the front so it kind of blends with the rest. And then I think there's like 12 total in my hair. There's more like right here to kind of blend these in with the rest of my hair so there's not like a hole like there was and then there's like five in my actual like undercut like all of this is fake <laughs> like and it's like so weird to have hair hair here um most of them we just did in straight black i'll zoom out so you can kind of see oop <laughs> Um, but yeah, like, 
This is fake. Fake. Everywhere where there's only black hair and not like the red at the ends is fake. Well, real hair, but not my hair. And, oh my god. I love them, and I'm so happy that I work in a salon and they did it for free. <laughs> because getting extensions is really expensive. Really expensive. These were free, just kind of lying around the salon from when they did like a class a while ago on them. Nobody else was going to use them, so... One of my coworkers who's like trained in extensions like, Hey, you want extensions? I'm like, sure. <laughs> Getting that and she's like, yeah, it'll help your side shaves grow out. Yada, yada, yada. I'm like, okay, sure. <laughs> and so we colored them, we stuck them in and here we are. All right. I don't know what happened with this lash. I put it on really badly. Um, and so the second that I'm done filming it, I'm ripping it off because it's stabbing me in the eye. But I'm not going to take it off now because it'll ruin my eyeshadow. So since I did this look for work and I wear a mask the whole time, I never had to think about a lip color with this. So I just spent quite a while trying to figure out what on earth would look good with this. And honestly, it's so hard because I feel like a lot of things would look good with this. Like, you can do a nude, you can do a berry, you can do a red, you can do a gray, which I think I'm going to try to go for since I'm kind of thinking this is like a grungy fall kind of look. So I'm going to do like a brown-gray kind of combo with like these two, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start with a brown. It's technically an eyeliner because I didn't want to buy a brown lip liner. So... If you have a brown lip liner, great. Otherwise, just use eyeliner. It works the same. It's the same product. Um, and I'm just going to line my lips really quick. I don't really know what my lip shape is doing today. It's really weird. Uh, I don't know. But we're just going to roll with it because I don't want to take it off. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in the color Confident. And I'm just going to apply this everywhere, I think. Alright, and then I'm going to put a little bit of this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade something. I don't know what it's called. Oh, um, 360. And I'm just going to apply this kind of on top. Damn, that's a good lip color. Oh my god. What have I just created? Oh my god. If only people weren't stupid and would actually wear the masks so eventually we could wear lipstick again. Um, yeah. Yes, I'm still going off on tangents about masks because as long as it's fucking important that you wear a mask, I'm going to keep being on you for wearing a mask, okay? Okay. Alright, so here's the finished look. I really love it. Like, I... I like it even more with a full face instead of just, you know, this much. But, you know, gotta wear a mask, so not really complaining. But yeah, this, I think, looks awesome. Very kind of grungy, which I really like. And yeah, um, hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And... Hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Bye.